Good morning, and welcome to Diane's Decorating and More. This weekend, I am visiting my hometown, Pelican, Louisiana, and this is where my relatives stay. And so I wanted to share with you guys how we start cooking in the morning. I'm bright and early. This is between 7 and 8 a.m. And it's cool right now. This is a dry heat. It's not like Texas. This is a dry heat. Totally different. So you get up in the morning and you start preparing breakfast. And you start preparing dinner at the same time. Because it's so hot here. And to conserve your energy, you start the cooking process early yes so on yesterday evening when we arrived I had some okra and as you can see here I've taken my okra and cut it up already okay and we had some corn that I went to the nearby town Mansfield and purchased some corn so that's what I'm going to be doing this morning is preparing breakfast and our dinner for the day early in the morning. So, we're going to start by putting our um, corn here in a pot and let it begin to boil. starting off with the okra and I've already cut my onions up, my purple onions here and um, we're going to put those into the skillet and let those saute for a little bit. Okay, so basically this meal is going to consist of, um, we're going to have some okra we have uh, the ground meat and we're going to have cornbread, corn, and um, French style beans with rice. That's one meal. The other meal is breakfast, of course, and we're going to have toast and we're going to have a touch of bacon. Uh, and we're also going to have uh, this sausage right here. Whenever I come home, this is what my brother uh, purchases for me because he knows this is one of my favorite sauces. So, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started with cooking the okra. And the corn is already, as you saw earlier, it's in the um, pot and it's boiling. cooking the eggs in another skillet. Let's use basic you know, eggs that um, with pepper and with salt with a touch of any other flavoring might be um, garlic powder. It depends on what you know everyone likes so, but that's what I like to put in mine. So. We're going to whip this up Camera here. 
like to do when I am home and cooking is to ensure that, you know, the meals that I prepare um, are similar to what we used to eat when we, I was a little girl living in the country, okay? So that is what I try to focus on because it's those tastes and those times that you have enjoyed uh, growing up that you want to kind of like revisit. So that's why I was like, yeah, <laughs> this is a good time for me to do this because I really enjoyed those meals as a kid growing up. So whenever I come home, that's what I tend to do um, is, um, you know, try and cook some of those meals that I would remember eating with my family as a little girl and I truly miss those so it's a joy to come home and then get a chance to taste uh, those different types of foods in the country. Okay so now we're going to add our eggs in here. cooking, we have the Oprah cooking, <laughs> and we have the porn cooking. So now with that, watching the eggs carefully, I'm going to mix my uh, cornbread. And it's just basic country cornbread, um, your meal, um, touch of flour, two eggs and salt, um, maybe half a teaspoon of baking powder. And if you have buttermilk, you use buttermilk. Uh, and if not, regular milk will work. Um, and it's just sweet milk that you get in the, what they call sweet milk. <laughs> Our whole milk uh, in a jug, uh, you can use that. And, um, and touch of oil, of course, in the pan and in the in the uh, cornbread mix. So, with having shared that, I'll go ahead and just prepare it. And like home made meals, okay. Of course, I cook them in Texas too, um, in my kitchen there. But it's something about country eating that's just totally different i mean the way you prepare the foods the atmosphere the people that you enjoy being around and it's just totally different it just gives a total vibe total taste <laughs> at least to me so this is what i really enjoy doing okay. we got our cornbread mix there I'll put all of the ingredients for this meal, these meals I'm rather, I'm preparing uh, in the comment section of the video. Make sure I mix in the okra with the seasonings and the onions that I have added. I'm using a purple onion in this, not just a white or yellow. I chose to use the purple onion. I just like the color and it also has the added taste of regular onion so I just like the color. And this is what the eggs look like finished. Okay, I'm just reading a good shot of that. Alright. Bread. As you can see here, 
it's a little bowl, <laughs> not a lot, um, into our prepared pan. And it's like I said, it's just a small little cornbread. Um, it's not a big one. So I have already oiled the pan. Okay, here. This cornbread is going to go into the oven here. It's an um, electric oven. So I'm going to put it at 350. Okay. And this should be done, I think, in about maybe 40 minutes, 45 minutes, and I'll check it. And then we'll come right back. This is what it looks like close up. Okay. And this is the corn that is cooking right now. Should take another 15 minutes and it should be ready. Okay, so now this is the grits that um, has been cooked and ready. You can see the different texture, the different type of grit here. It's really coarse, and they had the white, and they also they had the yellow. So I chose the yellow, as you can see. So it takes a little longer to cook, but it should be tastier. I just wanted to share that part of it with you. Okay, so we have just taken the cornbread out of the oven. And I'm putting some um, butter on top of it there. Okay. okay, these are the beans that will be going with the rice. And as you can see, I've already put them on. I've just added the purple onions in. So they're going to cook for another 15 minutes and then they should be ready. Okay. That's the thickness and consistency of the juice that goes with the beans. And that's how I like my beans. So that is how I prepare them. The smell is so good and you'll get a chance to see all the ingredients in my comment section of what I use for these um, beans here okay and I'll share the type of beans that I cooked as well um, in my comments all right so we're gonna let that cook Okay, now we are preparing our meat for the meal, which is going to be the ground meat. And I'm going to make um, some steak patties from that to go along with the meal as well. What you see here is the ground meat, and I have my seasonings and a touch of flour um, that's been added, and also some more purple onions. Now, these are the seasonings that I have been using or what I have added, I should say, to the meat to give it the kind of flavor that I'm uh, looking for. Okay. All right. 
Okay. And this one right here as well. I think I got that in there. A lot of different type of peppers. Okay. Okay. This one also. Okay. So each one of these is pretty much um, just a touch of the uh, ingredients that were added in there to uh, give it the flavor and taste that I'm looking for. So that's about it. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix all of this together. And, um, and I'll show you uh, when I'm cooking it. And also possibly come back and show a snip of what it looked like once it is cooked. This is the shape of the steaks now, and the seasoning have been added. Okay, so, but they're going to be browned first, and then baked off in the oven. So these are the little onions and bits of the ground meat that was left over um, from the beef steaks there. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good. <laughs> I'm happy about that. So the steak tastes like this. And they come out of the oven. Oh yeah. yeah. It's gonna be on. Oh yeah. Mm hmm Oh, so we'll come back and show you exactly what it looks like uh, once it comes out of the oven, okay? So hang tight. Okay, everything is done, and now I'm going to show you the um, steaks and the gravy um, that I did say I would come back and show you, okay? So, okay, so alright, so those are the steaks there, ground beef steaks, or Salisbury steaks as some people call them, in gravy, and that is the final meal that has been cooked. Okay, so everything now is complete, and this is the okra that's done. Show you that. Um, these are the beans. Okay, it's a little sweat there coming off the pot. And of course, this is the cornbread. Right, and this is the rice, brown parboiled rice, and this is the corn that will be served also for this evening's meal. Alright, so that is it. And I started cooking the meal around 9.30, I think, 9 or 9.30, so everything is complete in two hours three hours tops and that's for breakfast and um our dinner okay so that's two meals cooked in the a.m and it is all finished so thank you so much for um 
joining me today in the kitchen as we prepare here our meals in the country and hope you enjoy the video um, please be sure to like and share subscribe and hit the bell for notifications of any of videos that may be uh, uploaded okay and that's about it for today and thank you once again for joining me here on my channel